What is a fishing Alex on today's video? We will be talking about salmon fishing. I know it's a little bit uh, off track, but lately I had couple a lot of you actually asking me about uh, salmon fishing. I did couple trips to uh, Lake Michigan for the salmon run. And um, before we even get into the video, I just want to say I am not targeting salmon all the time, so I don't have the proper gear. Uh, well, I technically right now you don't even need all that uh, fancy stuff uh, because a um, couple of people asked me about some uh, peanut flies, um, J plugs, and whatnot that I I can't even remember the other stuff. Um, like I said, I do not target uh, salmon. Uh, year round, so I don't have the uh, fancy down riggers, uh, the flies, the flashers, and whatnot. But however, I've been very successful over the years with the stuff I have and what I do. Um, until two, three years ago, I didn't even had the uh, uh, trolling gear, so we used to use our bass, uh, bass um, rods and reels and all that stuff. And uh, four years ago. I uh, invested four or five years ago. I invested on, into um, Okuma uh, trolling reels, and for as for my rod setup, uh, I'll be honest, uh, it was right about the time uh, four and a half years ago. Um, I went online. I looked up uh, uh, trolling rods, and a guy was selling his uh, rods for. I believe it was like forty-five dollars or fifty bucks. Um, I told him I'll buy them, but uh, I told him he needs to wait until Wednesday because that's when I was getting paid uh, to give him the money. He said that's fine, whatever. Um, and when I went over there, he said, "Hey, you know what? Uh, when he was transferring the rods, he broke the tip on one of them, so he told me I can have them for ten bucks. I gave him ten bucks, so I spent ten bucks on my uh, rods." For both of them actually uh, one of them it's a uh, bass bass pro shops something and the other one is okuma uh, I guess for trolling or whatever but uh, they're um, I think they're like seven six and the other one says eight but uh, it's broken so it's down to seven something but either way uh, let me just uh, get into the juice right away and of course um, after this, it's going to be the video where I was catching fish and the um, biggest mistake I ever made for this year um, when I was uh, when I had my last fish and it was pretty big one. It wasn't the biggest fish that I caught, but it was pretty big. Um, I, made an, I made a silly mistake. I should have went after it, but I didn't. It had too much. I was almost 480 uh, feet away. I could have chased it down, shortened up the distance, uh, flagged the guy before he even got into it. But uh, you know what? It is what it is. Um, I'm not a salmon fisherman, so any fish I catch is a, it's a bonus. Um, but for this time of the year, anywhere from uh, late August to probably mid-October, they are in the harbor, so you don't need any fancy gear. The lures that work the best for me, the pattern I'm gonna say is, uh, is this pattern. This has been the money maker this year, and I also have my second best. Uh, it's uh, this one. I have not. I have no idea what the color is, but uh, three years ago. I was using a lure with uh, orange and kind of purplish and it didn't have these uh, dots but uh, I made I made uh, one just to test out and I was slaying them so these are my top uh, top lures to be honest uh, especially this one it's a killer um, this year uh, it was this one well different type of lure, but uh, so I do not use um, Deep divers um, When the, when they're inside the harbors, I go with uh, anywhere between I target anywhere between uh, six to two feet and this one with uh, about 30 feet of line it dives just above six feet 
uh, same as this and also I do not okay, got it and uh, one of these with uh, 30 feet 35 feet this one dies about four feet and these are the knockoff uh, Spro little Johns but uh, they do have a nice sound and I believe this is the key it annoys them and they go for it like crazy the other lure that uh, I've been doing very well I do not have any left of it uh, it's basically just uh, pure uh, orange with uh, white dots on it uh, with black in the middle but uh, that that lure was very well working for me uh, three two years ago when I was fishing for them unfortunately I haven't made any hard lures uh, for the past couple of years uh, but uh, these pattern are insanely well and you can cast them with uh, any gear they're very easily castable not just uh, trolling ones like these these deep divers they drop this one dives uh, probably anywhere between 25 to 35 feet depending how much line you have and what kind of line you have and this one this pattern has been working for me a couple of years ago very well outside the harbors when the fish are just staging to come in as well as this one this pattern is ha has been killer for me especially for cohos um on deeper water i have the also the uh shallow runners something about this pattern it is amazing it is a fish catcher so um when i'm trolling um uh, I do not let a lot of line out. First of all, I'm inside the harbor. I go anywhere between 45 to 35 feet. So I have two rods. One of them will be 45 feet and the other one will be 30 or 40, 30, uh, whichever, depending on the lure I use. But I do not go very far back because the fish are already on the top of the water column. And sometimes you can't even see them with your fish finder. Unless you're using uh, side scan, you can sometimes see them on the side scan when you uh, buzz by them and they, they stick up on on uh, on your fish finder but other than that it's very hard to see them when they're on that uh, one to two feet of water um, you just have to set up your uh, fish finder but I don't bother with none of that but it's been a pretty productive year for me and as for the video the first fish I caught was by the rocks and the second fish what happened was I was reeling it in and then it just uh, smashed it and it just took off it took off um, like almost for almost 500 feet and instead of me chasing it down I did I thought the fish was uh, dived in but unfortunately it was up in the water column and when the uh, sailboat passed by it got caught in the propeller and broke off but it is what it is um, any questions, concerns, jack down in the comments or you can DM me like uh, most of you guys do on uh, Instagram. Um, if you want to buy some of these lures, I don't have that many left because I don't do them anymore. I just made a couple uh, for myself to use over the years. Unfortunately, I am down to a handful of them, but um, I might get back uh, to painting them. Not quite sure yet, but um i do have a couple of extras that i can part with so that's it guys enjoy the video let me know if you have any questions down below as always don't forget to subscribe and i'll catch you guys on the water
Okay. It's okay. Wow, did you guys see that? I was just reeling it in. God damn, this is a big one. Yeah, this is a real big one. Fuck, it's gonna snap me with this fucking bolt coming all around. Bro, I can't even fucking move this bitch. It's pushing almost 400 yards. For feet, sir. Feet, my bad. Yeah, it, it's taking me where the boats are. It's gonna snap me. I can. He, he's under the boat. Hey, bud, you caught my line. What's that? You caught my line. Yeah, the boat caught my line. Yeah. Chris, it was like 500 feet. Hold on.
Careful, I got a big fish on it. Big fish on it? Yes. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> I did not expect that. I let a lot of line out, but it took.